Hello everyone, this is Panda here with a special food review. This review is slightly more special than the rest because today I will be reviewing this product with my wife Foxy. The product in question is... Season's Choice Waffle Fries. As always, I will be reviewing the appearance, the quality, and the price of these fries to determine a possible total point value of 15 out of 15. So let's go find out a little bit more about these waffle fries, shall we? I believe I mentioned this before, but I found these waffle fries at Aldi for $1.69. Now the interesting part about this is that they were originally $1.99, but sometimes Aldi likes to do this thing where they cut prices and they give a, uh, I, I believe it's a yellow special price cut tag. So again, it was $1.99 and now it's $1.69 at Aldi. From what I can tell, the font size and color isn't too terrible. It's kind of simplistic to me, but it's, it's good enough, I suppose. The picture of the waffle fries on front looks deceiving. It's as if I'm going to be looking at a Carl's Jr. advertisement at this point, so I'm not too happy about that, but whatever, I can move past that. Looking on the back, the directions are there, the nutrition facts are there, the ingredients are there, everything is there. It's just a little bland for me. I, I get this weird barnyard vibe when looking at this package, but otherwise it's not terrible. One quick note about these fries, you can use a fryer or an oven, which is great because I like having options even though I do not own a fryer. And since I have to use an oven, I'll be back in a couple of minutes with a taste test. Okay, now after we had to wait about 20 some minutes, right? Something something like that, you have to let it cool down obviously. They, they look like this, look pretty dang good, I, I'd say. Got a few here on this plate, you can barely see that maybe. And uh, yeah, we're just going to do a taste test right now, ready? Okay, so... Bon Appetit. I'm going to try a couple more, uh, just because I want to get an accurate reading on this, this taste test. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so that wasn't too bad. My first initial thought was that it was a little, not soggy, but not firm, right? Did, did you feel that way too? So she, if you can't hear, I don't know if my uh, microphone captured what she said, but she said we could have put it in the oven for a few more minutes, but that would be going against the direction. So I, I don't know. Oh, uh, give me your thoughts on this, Foxy. That's the key word. If you didn't hear her, she said it's not crispy enough, and I feel the same way. But other, other than that, I think it was it was okay, right? Yes. It was okay. Okay, we're not there yet, but all right. Okay, let's move on to the final thoughts. In regards to appearance, I truly believe that there was nothing special about the packaging. The waffle fries themselves looked okay. They, they didn't look, nothing popped out to me. Let's just say that. Nothing about this product popped out to me. And because of that, I'm gonna have to give it a solid three out of five. Now, when we talk about quality, I was kind of on the fence here because initially the taste was kind of bland to me. I felt like there wasn't enough salt. And this is coming from a guy who never salts anything. At the same time though, I definitely got that waffle fry vibe if that makes any sense when you eat fries when you have a waffle fry you're like okay this is definitely a waffle fry that is the vibe I got from this but it just wasn't strong enough I believe that these waffle fries would be much better under two conditions one you would have to eat them with ketchup and two you would have to put them in for the maximum amount of time that is on the directions which would be 20 minutes and then I guess it would be just crispy enough that's what I'm getting at but because of all of that I'm gonna have to unfortunately give the quality a three out of five if i were to have bought these fries at the original price of 199 i'd be a little upset a little devastated because the, the quality and the appearance is just not good enough but because these were on sale for 169 which is a pretty fair price point for the quality that you and the amount you get from these fries i feel like i'm being generous but also honest i'm gonna have to give the price a solid four out of five that means that these fries get a total value of 11 out of 15 which isn't too bad now it's not great it's not great by by far not great but it's not terrible it's on the cusp of being a shit product but it's not a shit product so season's choice good job if you ever find yourself in aldi and want some fries to take home i say give these a try they may be right up your alley okay that's gonna be it for this food review if there are any other foods you'd like me to review or take a look at please 
please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give a like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.